Hello friends, this is Leopal. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to cover most of the important method of the string class. So I'll show you the example and also I'll explain the functionality. So before that, if you are new, just subscribe my channel and share with your friends so that they can also get that knowledge. So now coming to this topic. So you can see I have written lots of method signature. Right, so those methods are belongs from the string class. So why these methods are important? If you are creating any applications, so there is a very common part you need to manipulate the strings. So when there is a manipulations related to strings, so you need a uh, lots of string method in order to writing this logic. So that's what point number one. And second point is when you are actually going for any interview so most of the cases nowadays you will find out they will give you some problems and you have to write the logic or might be they will give you some link and you have to write the uh, programming so now most of the programming they will ask related to the string problems now if you are talking about the strings or anagram or not find out the reverse of the string length of the string and even and string is palindrome or not even you have to find out whether the string contains all the unique characters or not whether you have to find out the each and every character frequency so you can see most of the problems can be solved use any of the combinations of those methods so that's what it is really important yes apart from that there is a others problems related to data structure or might be a matrix right so now let's focus our, on our code discussions so now so a string uh, you, you you know a string is a class right so a string we can create it two ways either with the help of a string keyword so normally it will go to the string pool or else we can create with the help of a new keyword so that time it will be created directly object and it will go into a store heap and each and every time new object will be created so instead of uh, storing in the heap so that is a common part so now so fast method Third, I will say this is a care add so care add method what it will do so let's say if you have a string right so let's say this is my string so just concentrate on this particular string so you can see the word I have that is a welcome so now string object dot care add so if you want to oh, retype the character from the string okay if you want to retype the character uh, from the e string based on the index okay so that time you will use that care at method so care at method return type is character i have passed one so right so that is means index of this particular e string one is the character is e so definitely it should print that e right so you can see the output is e right so now what when it's needed so let's say if you wants to take each and one character from the string so just what you will do so you will actually find out the string length and then you will iterate and you will pass that particular i so there should be one counter right so now each and every time so oh, one character will be retrieved from the string so first one second one so that counter should be increased by one so this is way i mean we can create the log so now this is a care add so now second is a is empty so is empty method is required in order to find out whether your string is empty or not just keep in in your mind if you are using is empty so it is only able to uh, check whether the string is empty or not but if you check whether the string is null or not it will that time it will fail so only this is a empty means like a only double quotations there should not be any character so it's a return type is boolean so in that case it will return the true so now if i use that string one str1 so you can see there is a value is welcome so that time it will definitely return a false because the string is not a empty so you can see the output is false so now there is a third so length so now length means basically it will return the string length now 
this is string one basically welcome so welcome consists of seven characters so it should return the output of seven right so now if i use the str2 string 2 so string 2 is basically empty so that's what it should return the output is zero right so we can easily find out so what is the lane so what i was saying so you you can actually iterate the uh, you can use the for loop and now you can you uh, iterate the string with the string length up to less than n then you can take a counter and you can retrieve one by one that is string caret with a i index i so that is means you can get each and every character from the string so now there is a trim method is there purpose of this trim method is so if there is extra spaces it can easily delete so let's say i have a string uh, one so after this welcome i have put it to a space so now in this case so if i try to print that string one so i mean finally in the output sections you will not able to understand whether that space is printing or not but yes actually it is printing the space so now if you take the pointer so you can see so now in order to trim that uh, particular string uh, in order to i mean uh, trimming that particular space so that time you can use that trim method i mean string dot trim method so this method will uh, remove the extra spaces from your string so that is the use of a trim method so this is a very helpful let's say two string you are trying to you know um, uh, compare so that time so one string value is coming from differ after uh, doing the different operations might be extra space is coming so that time if you use that string dot team and then dot uh, equals then the uh, that target uh, particular string then that time it would be a very helpful method so now there is a two uppercase and two lowercase so two uppercase method so easily by name you can understand so it will convert all the character of the string in a uppercase so welcome w is a uppercase in that uh, so and also l is a uppercase in that string one so here you can see all the converted into the uppercase so similarly there is a method called to lowercase right so two lowercase so if you run so you will be see every letters are printing in the form of a small character right so let me run it so you can see welcome so w and l also it's a uh, converted as a small letter so now there is a value of so value of is a very helpful method so if you want to convert any any of the primitive uh, non string data to string data so that time you can use the value of let's say you have an integer a equals to 10 so now so how to convert a into a string so that time you can use the value of right so now let's say i am using a string so this is a static method string dot value of you can see boolean what type so i am actually giving a a so that is means string a is uh, integer a is converting as a string right so that is the use so value of method is helpful for any of the primitive data type which are not a string so easily we can convert as a string so this 10 is a now a string it's not a uh, integer so this is a value of so now equals method so whenever we need to uh, compare to, uh, to different string whether that uh, two different strings are equal or not by the content okay so that time we can use the equals and equals ignore case same thing but the difference is here in that case it will not compare compare the based on the uh, uppercase and lowercase so let me give you the example let's say i have a string one and a string two so that is first one is str right dot equals so if i use equals method here so i'll get a false i'll not get a true why i'll get a false although welcome this two string contains the welcome word 
but the problem is here you can see this L is a small letter but here this L is capital letter so in that case if you use only equals so it will compare with the case related matter so you can say it's a case sensitive so that's what it will give the uh, it will return false but if you use the equals ignore case here so it will return a true because it will ignore the case sensitive part because it will contain okay so whether this is the same character or not doesn't matter what is the case of the character means whether it's a capital letter or a small letter so let me run this so you can see the result is true right so now so there is a compare to and compare to ignore case so equals method i said it's a object to object comparison of the string but compare to and compare to ignore case it's a compare based on the unicode value what is that unicode so each and every character has a kind of ascii value so capital a letter ascii value is 65 so b is 66 similarly cap a small a ascii value is 97 small b ascii value is 98 so in that case so if you are actually using let's say compared to okay so in that case easily you can able to see right uh, so in that case w is equal so it will return 0 e equal but a small l and capital L the difference is 32 if you uh, my subtract from a small L uh, ASCII value to capital S, uh, L ASCII value it will be my uh, 32 and then C then O then M so both are equal so this will return the integer value is 32 so compared to method return type is 32 right so now if both strings are equal i mean both string contains the same character with the same case sensitive so that time it will return a zero so now if i run this piece of code 32 but if i reverse i mean if i uh, apply the compare to with a string one and this first string so it time that time i'll get a minus 32 because that time capital l will uh, try to subtract the capital uh, small l right so capital l value is less than the small l value that is almost 32 difference that's what i will get a minus 32 so now if i don't want like e e uh, equals ignore case so you should not be bothered about the case sensitive so that time you can use the compare to ignore case so it will not be a case sensitive so it will uh, ignore the uppercase and lowercase so it will only consider the character so that time you will get a zero because it, okay w w e e so it's the same thing so it is returning the zero right so now there is a start with and end with so a start with and end with it will return type is true and false so now if the string let's say i am using the start with so if if you uh, you have to give a certain string right so if that string start with this particular prefix we can say prefix then it will return the true so let's say my string is started with a w e even w so anything you can give so that time it will return true right so definitely it should return true but why it is returning false again this is a case sensitive so i have to use w e i mean w is capital so now you can see the true now if i give a w e then a so you can understand so w so my welcome there is a w e so after that l there is a no a so definitely it should return false right so this is a start with similarly if you want to check whether your main string is ended with that suffix string or not so that time you can use that ends with whether your string ended uh, with that particular small string or not so this is a ends with so let me i am giving ame so ame means it is it will be written true right 
and if I give a e, also it should return true because yes, the string is okay. So I have made extra bracket, right? So now if I run that one, so definitely I should get a true. Even I, even if I put a e only, it will also return true because it is ended with the e. But if I give a only m, it should return false because it's not ended by m; it's ended by e. So now check it. So the output is false. Now, so this is uh, another method. So now come to that hash code. So what is the use of the hash code? So you might be heard. So uh, there is a method called hash code. So hash code method will return the hash value. So each and every object should have some hash value. So finally, it is actually the reference uh, which is pointing to that object. Which are stored in that heap memory area of the JVM. So in order to find out the hash value of that particular string, so you can use the hash code. Return type is string. So now you can see the output. It's a string. So this is a hash code. Now index of. So if I need to find out, so there is a. It's a kind of uh, method of overloading because index of this particular method. Have a different flavor, so it's a nothing but a method of overloading. So you can see one method is taking the integer, another method is taking the uh, string. So means a uh, fast method. Now talking about the fast method, it is taking the ASCII value and it will return the index of the first occurrence of that particular character. Let's say uh, the Capital A letter ASCII value is 65. So if I pass here 65, so it should search for the capital A letter where first occurrence happened. So let's say in X position. So it will return that X positions value means that is nothing but index value. So now this is my string one. So let's say I am looking for character A first occurrence. So I have a two character. Uh, a in that string. So now let me use that index of this integer part. So the uh, ASCII value of A is 65. So this method should return zero index because first occurrence of the 65 is actually in the zero index, right? Not here. So now if I remove here, so definitely it should give a three because W index is 0 then e1 then l1 then a3 right so now coming to that part so this is kind of similar things so instead of providing the ascii value if i provide a kind of uh, the string or character so it will return that value so the first occurrence you can see the positions at 3 so it is returning the 3 so if you know the ascii value so that time you can use that index of if you don't know ascii value you can use the simple string or character so similarly last index so it will return from the last part of the string that is the first occurrence of this character now if i use the last index of let's say so similarly so if i take a example here so in that case I am using the 65 it should return 3 instead of 0 because in the earlier case it should search from the first place now in this case it is searching from the last because I have used the last index of so in the from the last side what is the first occurrence so this is the first occurrence so this should actually give a because this is in fourth uh, index positions right so now if you use instead of this uh, ASCII value, if you use a, a kind of string character, so that time you can use that particular method of overloading approach. Means like it, it is taking integer and it is taking the string. So that's the one thing. So now another important pa method is a substring. So now substring means let's say this is my string. I want to retype that string from positions 1 or positions 2, positions 3 from the end of the string. So now what is the positions 2? So positions 2 is L. Now what is the positions 3? Means index 3. That is a C. So let's say I am using the substring and I am giving the 3. So it should return 
from the positions i mean index 3 to up to end of the string so end is e so definitely it should return the come c o m e come right so this is also a method of overloading because this is this method has a many form right so here it is coming l come l come because i am using this string so let me delete that one okay and run it so definitely it should give come okay so you can see that output is come right now coming back to the substring another method it's a method of overloading because it has a kind of other parameters with the same method name right so now this is a beginning index and end index so what is happening in that case in the first method uh, signature case so it is returning always up to end but in that case i need i need from a starting point to up to certain point also i need to mention it so let's say i want to retrieve only com from this history so i don't want to uh, return up to end so that time i'll use this particular method signature of this substring so now here what i'll give so this is index 3 but actual positions so 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 6 is the positions of the m so i'll give here 6 now if i try to print it so definitely it should give me a result c o m com so you can see here return type is com now coming back to that next method that is a concat so what is the main uh, fundamental things of that concat method so it can uh, uh, connect two different string and it will form one string so let's say i have a string str and also have a string str1 so now if i use that concat method so what should i get so now i'll get a result welcome a welcome that whole string right you can see the output is this so now the main thing is so after that if you trying to print any of the string so do you think like a, this has been added in that string or not so if you print str or str1 separately you will get only this particular string you will not get a concatenated string because string is a immutable so in order to take this value now again you have to take another string so let's say uh, i am taking this string okay then if i use that str3 so then str str3 should contain that concatenate string right so you have to understand that point so if you applying the concat so that is means now other posters if you are trying to use this string or might be this string it will not having that concatenated value so wherever you will be applied if you don't take any reference and if you are not keeping any string uh, variable so definitely uh, it should not give that result so now this is a replace so replace what is the purpose of the replace so i want to replace this character wherever this character is there so it should replace that character so that time i'll use that replace method so let's say um i have this character uh, in welcome okay so let's say in welcome i have a a character right as e character so now instead of e i'll give a d right so if i use the d so definitely it should uh, give a that output similarly i mean after replacing so if you don't take any reference of this string variable so then definitely you will not get the reflected value so you can see this is the reflected value now if you are again trying to print a separately that string str so if you think like a, this has been changed no because string is a immutable so in order to uh, see that reflection you have to take this value in a separate variable so you can see that actual uh welcome contains this string reference variable so this is not a uh, modified so it is unmodified but this output is a modified one right so now so this is a uh, replace so similarly if you want to replace uh, all the characters uh, in that all the strings i mean if you want to use that replace so all let's say if you want to replace so wherever this string so let's say uh i am giving the uh, example welcome debu 
uh, yes debu so like that so if i give a example debu okay instead of debu if i give a take okay so wherever it will find that debu so it will again replace the take so that's what replace all so replace all basically it is taking kind of um a string so again it will also take the regular expressions so if you don't know regular expressions so definitely i'll cover in the different section so it can also the accept the regular ex, uh, expressions now what is contents method so contents method i have to check whether that string contains that particular uh, character sequence or not okay so now so if i use so let's say i, I am passing uh, this value let's say i am pa passing uh, in that fast string x so now you you know that x is not there in welcome so definitely it should return false right so you can see the return type is false right so let me delete one so now if i give a d so d is present so now this method should uh, return true because this d is present so contents so this is the use of contents now replace fast this is also take a string also the regular expressions i want i want to replace the fast part of this string so now let's say if i give a if i use that replace fast here okay if i use replace fast now debu so uh, now so take so you'll see only the reflections would be here in that fast debu place not other place so it will replace only the fast uh, wherever it will the match so it will also take the uh, regular expressions now we split this is a very helpful uh, method i can say like earlier method uh, what we have a equals method and also the caret method so if i need to split the string okay let's say string i have to take a string array because return type is array so let's say i am taking the array so now what is my string so this is my string okay okay so now split okay let's say my string contain the comma separator value okay so now i want to retype the uh, I, I split the string with the comma separator okay so you can see i am giving this one finally we are trying to print it but if we print it uh, by using this so definitely we'll get a uh, the uh, reference so now how we can print it so we can use the for method so now we can actually uh, use the return let's say this is a string okay now i can use a ar kind of things and now i can print okay system dot out dot println okay so i can use the ar so if i print this one so you can able to see all those things i am printing see when we can actually iterate uh, using the string length so here dot length and then we can use something so you can see this is a split it with the comma right so this is the use so now two char array so if i need to convert so similarly if i need to convert all the string with based on the some things and it will be converted as a string array so it will convert all the characters so now so I, I i told you there is a one approach you have to find out the string length with the help of length method and then you will take a each and every character it's a kind of a char at i so similarly instead of these things again you can iterate the loop like this string dot dot two char array right so now let's say if i am giving let's say this is a char character okay so uh, i am giving this so finally you can see that every character will be able to pin so either two ways we can iterate each and every character from the string right so you can see th this is uh, printing one by one so comma then devotee so all the characters printing so now this is a content equal so this is a important method again so equals method only check with the string so now there is a concept called string buffer so if you want to check string so this string class value with the string buffer particular class so that time you can use the content equal so even two string also be um, you know i mean uh, check with the help of your content equals but a special use for the string buffer 
so the main purpose and return type is boolean so it will return true if that is equals and it return false if not a equals so get bytes so if i need to oh, convert this string particular string into a byte array so that time i can use the get bytes and another important method is matches so matches also take a regular expressions so what is the purpose so if i need to check whether that particular string with matches with that regular expressions or not so its return time also boolean so it will return true and false so likewise replace fast and replace all so it time that time it should uh, replace that one but in that case i have to check whether this particular string contain that matcher or not so with the help of regular expressions even the string so we can return true and false so apart from this there is a several others method are there but yes those are the important methods so let me summarize what are the things you need so first of all that length trim method and also the caret method and that two can method this two methods is very important in order to uh, iterate each and every character of the string and then uh, index of in order to find out the index of that particular is uh, characters and then sub string method we need to find out the string in between that uh, is, uh, index range and then split method we need to split that particular big string based on some criteria and again there is a lots of things is there in order to solve your problem hope you have enjoyed this video still if you have any doubt just let me know in the comment sections definitely i'll be there and if you like my video subscribe my channel and share with your friends thanks for this bye i'll see you in next tutorial